Welcome everyone <laughs> to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 spans a period of almost 700 years. Choose where in the timeline you want the game to start. We're going to start in the early Middle Ages. Early Middle Ages, and now what country? Middle France? Yeah, no, it's just boring to be a big country. Let's be uh, a very small country. No, Pickland maybe. Uh, King Sinead. Uh, we could actually play as Northumbria. I think you only play as Northumbria. Uh, Mercy maybe? Um, what about something smaller? Mm -hmm. I'll play as the King of Northumbria. King Aethelred? Aethelred? How do you say that? Aethelred? Of Northumbria. Okay, let's play. Oh, these stupid rules. Let's play the rules. I just have to look at these quickly. Just sometimes these rules can be a bit stupid. Um, idiotic rules. Um, how do I change this again? Um, did you requirement required? I think everything's fine. Just need to make fine. Title name, art of dynasty, childhood focus. Yep, I think it's okay. Start the game. Anyway, here we go. In Crusader Kings 2, you play a succession of medieval rulers from a single dynasty. There is no set goal. But the world is filled with ambitious rivals. Secure more land to increase your power and protect your family. Hmm. Yep, obvious. Okay, let's just see what we we'll, oh, I need to see what my focus is, what this character is best. Oh, we're scholarly theologian. Envious, zealous, god greedy, and deceitful. Not a nice man, obviously. What will we best to give him? Well, we could give him some scholarship, okay. Yeah, then we can build an observatory, maybe. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's just make him become exalted. Of course, every king, even a petty king like the King Eilfred of Northumbria. Uh, let's have his children married. Um, ooh, Princess of Lombardy. A princess will do. Wait. What about um, the, I don't know Princess of Lombardy? Yep. Let's marry his brother to uh, someone less important to. Uh, why don't we just betray him to the Carling, Princess of France? That's probably equally. Ugh, let's just speed this up. I don't like playing on the slowest mode, it's just too slow for me. To the glorious King Eochred, peace be with you. I have decided to accept your suggestion of betrothal between Elman and Princess Gisela. Oh my god, that's amazing! No, it's just everyone's concerned. I'm not paying for the wedding. <laughs> Ugh, it's too expensive. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. God, no, we have a dangerous faction rising. Let's just go check it out. Hmm. Um, what's wrong with this faction? Increased council power in Northumbria. Uh, Saxony is usurped. Yeah, that doesn't look too important. Let's just see. Um, what about Queen Osgifu? Where's she from? Her father was a king of Northumbria? So we're related. Uh, distant cousins, I imagine. It would show. We're both. No. He was king of Northumbria. Did I overthrow my father? For too long you have restricted the political influence of your vassal. The time has come to give the council more power. Submit to the demands peacefully or face to conscience. Yes. How much of an army does he have? Actually, let's just look at the. You have to look here to see how much of an army he has compared to us. Um, he has a thousand two men. We have 823. We stand. Unfortunately, we stand no chance. I guess I have no choice. Ugh. Oh. This is just terrible. Ugh, I should have a choice, but unfortunately I don't. Oh, let's just see what we can do here. Let's um, recruit a court physician. We need a court physician, I always think of. <laughs> you have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions that scout the realm for a skilled physician that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach sh shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quack cell that salver. I hope I don't have to wait long. Yep, build observatory. You have begun construction on an observatory. It will take some time to collect the necessary materials and everything in order. Good. Should we do anything else? Um, let me just see. Hold a feast. No, we just don't have enough money. We only have 118. God, that's little. I paid a price for good health. Yeah. Princess Delfreda has dragged and faithful proud Osred before me and his sister should punish him. Osred, he's my son. I'm not punishing my son. I'm a king and my sons are princes. I need this quality of order, but I'm envious and greed. So, yeah. And I need not too much of a person. Oh my god, my wife is pregnant. Pregnant? How old is she? 
Oh, she's just 41. That's pretty old to get pregnant in the Middle Ages. Pretty old. Most people, I don't, I don't know if they would actually survive, I don't know. Your observatory is finally ready. It would get anticipation that you prepare to make your first observations. <laughs> I wonder what strange thing I will discover, of course. Actually, let's just see if we have any claims to the nation's behalf between us. And we should really do that for the council, because sometimes I just wait a little while to do this. Let's just, um, actually, this is a small nation. Let's just start with smaller people. Uh, let's um, get all of these people, research economy tech, um... Study some technology over here in France. Here, um, let's get this person to research cultural tech in the capital. Uh, that's everything. Okay, then let's just check this out. It's taking its time. Actually, I forgot to do something. I need to set the. This. I need to set this as the crown focus to focus all my resources on the capital of Northumbria. Oh, ah, another son, Elred. Name him after myself, why not? Egotistical. How does storage move? You have spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It is truly fascinating. I have so many out questions to ask. Is this something strange out there? Are there aliens at this point in time? Oh, my grandson. A son was born to Osred Elkerson and Prince Alfredo of Lombardy named Edward. Edward. I think I'll just let the game decide the names. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Actually, what are my laws of succession? We have Agnathi Kognaki Cavalkin. Okay, so the land is split and the women only inherit if there is no sons of the ruler. My liege, the people of ruin have progressed beyond your own our own technological level. I have managed to write, to study their advancements and the documents are enclosed here. Should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Your humble spy must obey your Wolfgate of Corbridge. Hmm. Okay, let's just see. Ugh. Uh, no, our technology is still pretty low. <laughs> We're just a technological backwater. We are living in the north, I guess. <laughs> North family actually should be pretty powerful. Uh, it's mostly a lot more powerful than us, so. though. How many men? <sighs> 5,302. We have only 875. Oh, God. We'll get our technology above everyone else soon enough. Uh, legalism is a good thing to invest in, but noble customs to make the nobles happy. Military organization. Uh, I mean, you can spend it on anything, really. But... Especially at this point in the game. If you want to, if you later, you can just use it to increase your realm power, like centralization. Um, the research you conduct in your observatory night is proving deeply fascinating. You could push your studies further, but you need to purchase more equipment to be meaningful. How much move forward? How much? Okay, yeah, we can afford 30 gold. I mean, if you was if it was 100, I couldn't afford it. Let's just see how much a tournament there. Found anything? Uh, hold a feast, we could. Uh, how much? It costs 25 gold. Oh, ooh, another one. A son was born <laughs> naming a lot of children Eothred, aren't they? <laughs> ah, maybe I should start planning. <laughs> Plan the grandchildren's patrols even before the year one. <laughs> nah, I'll wait a little bit for that. But yeah, people actually did that <laughs> back then. It's pretty impressive. I don't know if I wanted my life control like that. One morning, your son Eothred comes to see you. He says, I am worried. I have heard that you are spending late nights staring at the sky, speaking odd riddles and entertaining heretic. Heretical notions about the cosmos. I would ask you to stop for your own sake. I'm only admiring the beauty of the stars. There are strange things out there and I need to see them. Yep. <laughs> God is afraid. Oh, God, some people. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, people were afraid of the stars back then. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> and hysterical, really. Oh, dangerous factions. No. Lord Eel Eelfall for Northumbria. How the heck does he have a claim? 79.4%. At least we still have more men. We have it about 800. How does he claim? Does he have any claim to it? He doesn't really have a claim. Maybe his wife gives him a claim or something. The studies you have conducted in your observatory have convinced you that there are many strange things beyond the known cosmos. There are few sources and no one to share your knowledge of. With you, however, but you have heard a strange old tale, old scholar in the Arabian desert who is rumored to possess vast knowledge. I will go and see him. Yes, I will go and see him. Obviously, they have it in Arabia. All the technology. Actually, it was kind of advanced at one point in time. Uh, worrying when reports reach you regarding your marshal. I will. I, he has forfeited his office. I need to find a new marshal. God, he was abusing his position. Ah, let's, in, let's put Aylman, my own son, as the new marshal. That's not favoritism. He's the best man for the job. I mean, ooh, have my, oh my god, my son's wife died of pneumonia. Pneumonic. A pneumonic. <laughs> pneumonic. <laughs> god, the P is pronouncing that. The character after suffers from pneumonia. A life-threatening condition. Oh, god, let's just see who he'll marry now. 
Um, go who? Princess of West France. Yeah, let's find him a suitable match. It's of age. Is it? We do we only have Lance Lance Swinder? Lance Sw Lance Swinder. What a strange name. Okay, arrange marriage between her and and. Okay, that's you done. Okay, what's the oh, god by people? Okay, one day at the market, a strange man comes up to you and offers to sell to you what he swears is a finger of St. John the Baptist. You look at it carefully and it does indeed seem to be a set. I must purchase this holy relic. And now I have a finger of St. John the Baptist. The finger belonged to St. John the Baptist. St. John was a prophet of the Messiah and was also the one to baptize Jesus. Well, okay, the necromon. You arrive at the abode of the strange old scholar, Ibrahim. After some persuasion, he invites you in. You speak at length, and he tells you of the scholar, Abdul the Mad, who knew many sins of the strange spears mayond, and of taking, talking beings that are not human. You find out that Abdul the Mad wrote a book called the Necronomicon, in which he recorded many strange and unholy truths. Ibrahim says that as he is impressed by your sincerity and desire for knowledge, he can sell you a copy of the book. He tells you to beware, however, as too much intense study of the Necronomicon is said to dry the reader insane <laughs> yes i must have that book oh my god it's expensive but okay let's buy it let's just see what it says necromicon a mysterious book dealing about the strange spears beyond many strange and unholy truths are recorded in this page well we've increased my learning a lot that's good oh no the law on heresy is uh, in the country oh, let's just look at the religion where has it gone oh, oh no we have a little damn you religious people oh, damn this i hate when this happens Ugh, oh, so boring and let's just oh, we have to move the religion from researching culture to proselytizing. We don't want anyone not conforming to the state religion, of course. At least not in this time, I mean. Of course all religions are great, but uh, No, I don't want an alliance because I might be dragged into a stupid war, a massive war. Francia fights large wars, we're too small to fight big wars. Working on your observatory, you are often disturbed by strange noises and cannily Large insects carrying away smaller pieces of equipment and odd human-like figures spying on you and then disappearing into the night before you confront them. You really struggle to make con go and get everything done. Okay, I must focus. I'm starting to think, mate. Oh, no, it's not appropriate. I mean, you're in dirty. There is no... How many... Oh, God, how would I be a good petty king doing that? A new bird has arrived and mused and a new book in the afternoon in poetry. I should start reading the book. My leads, the people of Rowan have progressed beyond our own technological level and managed to study their advancements and documents in close here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Your humble spy must have made wolf gear of Corbridge. He's only 33, huh? Still young. Maybe he'll be... Ooh, the poetry book is really inspiring. I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Give me a quill! Hmm. What a king. Oh, after spending some time feet talking with Elk, and I have realized the errors of my ways and freed myself from my sinful might way. <gasps> I am no longer greedy. Thank God, I no longer lost a row. Gold, like a dragon. The abbot of a nearby monastery has asked that you make a donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure the air and prayers. <sighs> well, 30 gold is a lot. No, sorry, I can't spare the gold right now. I only have 99, 100. Well, maybe I spelt it on the book. Oh, my modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bars and minstrels are reciting and singing my poems, huh? I'm a poet, this character lights, right? And the claim poetry. Fame and fortune awaits in my poetry. The book you bought from the strange desert scholar has proven quite useful for gaining new ideas and insight in your studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing texts and images through the, uh, that lead towards a level of understanding that might make one mad. I, I should leave it on a shelf for now. I must delve deeper. I will know, oh my god, I've become a lunatic. God, lunatic, this character is stark raving mad. <laughs> my liege, I write to you with bad news from Carrick. My efforts to root out the Harry's can convert the population met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we might have a revolt in your hands. So, here soon. Your humble court chaplain, Bishop Lufwine of Carlisle. That's troublesome peasants. Oh, peasants, pheasants. Peasants, pheasants, really are the same thing. <laughs> Not really. Oh, we've got construction. Let's just upgrade that. Um, this time let's just put legalism up and um, let's just do ship building. Great wisdom comes to those who study the world and learn from it. Your studies of the stars and other things beyond the world have taken you very strange paths, and your learning has increased immensely since you started. The stars are right. God. Ah, we've got another construction. Um, uh, let's do noble customs. We want nobles to be happy because we already have a rebellion brewing. Oh, we've fallen from the. Oh my god, he's got. 
999 man, that isn't a good thing. Oh no, Elkrad, I name you a pretender. Oh, your fault of Jorkham is the true ruler of Northumbria, as recognized by myself and other nobles, relinquish the titles, or there will be war. I will not be blackmailed. I will not stop being king. Okay, let's rise our men. Oh, God, sometimes it is. But okay. Let's hope we can fight them off, as if we can't, we lose. Okay, we have to be careful. They still have less men than us for now. My liege, the people of Rowan have progressed beyond our own technological level. That's great, Mayor Wolfgear. Uh, how many men do they have? 670. Uh, right, let's just see if we have any good commanders, because I know our leader is not good. Uh, oh, we haven't appointed any commanders, have we? Minor titles. Uh, commander. Let's just put Wolfnoth, Bishop of Lufnang. And uh, who else? Commander, Elfather of Durham. Uh, let's just do that. And now let's just... Um, Replace everyone. I, I don't want to die. I'm not one of those people who wants to die in battle. Um, but what about the other commanders? Ugh, maybe I need to appoint another one. This is so useless commanders. God damn you, commanders. Actually, if there's a commander less than eight, let's just put Offer. Offer's still better than, than the king as a commander. Okay. I'm just scared. How much money do I need to raise mercenaries? I just don't want to lose. Uh, what's the smallest amount? Cost. Let's just go to the lowest. Um, need something bigger. 150 gold. Is on here now. Oh, let's just see if we can take a loan. Um, borrow 300 from the Jewish merchants. I'm sorry, Jewish merchants, but I need the 300. God, and the military. Let's hire the 1,500 men to help us. The Lombard Bard. And, and now we have enough men to crush our enemies and uh, let's just see let's just put this guy in charge and let's just put this guy here okay and then oh, i didn't even need to put those commanders well i didn't realize i was going to be hiring a mercenary, mercenary band mm, yeah i guess it makes a difference when you hire a massive mercenary band to deal with these things mm, okay let's just move it this way let's just attack okay oh damn it Avoiding me, like all people would avoid. Your court chaplain, Bishop Leofine, has been discovering charging money for various religious. <gasps> Disappointing, but understandable. He's religious. Oh no, we have a double war on our hands. We need to hope to weakly crush this army. Ugh, we already have 259. We can't lose this battle. What exactly does he want? Um. Oh, Dunbar, he wants Dunbar. You are finally certain, absolutely certain. There are these things you under, you understand now that lie beyond the ken of normal men. If they knew, oh, if, if they knew. But it is the task of scholars such as you to keep and preserve such things secret. In secret, lest all humanity go insane with the knowledge of its own insignificance. I shall be a devoted keeper of elder secrets and a mystic. The character has delved into the mysteries of the court, trading a fine line between heresy and orthodox approval. Okay. We've almost won. Yes. We're perfect. We've captured people. Now we need to fight the Scottish. Oh, I mean the Pictish. And these days they were known as Pictish, not Scots. But we still have to fight them off. Let's just see. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Northumbria and the muster. Oh, that's great. Our loyal men. We have to crush both armies before things get out of control. I mean, oh, we have another grandson. A son was born to our life named Sinhelm. Okay, we have another grandson. Damn, this is just taking forever. I mean, oh, I just want to crush the men. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh damn it. We, we, we may be winning, but we're not going to be winning for long. Uh, can we raise any more men? I just don't want to spend too much more money. Damn it. We have 1,400. We can't raise any more men, unfortunately. This could be the battle to decide all of it. We could lose Dunbar. Oh, do I? No. Uh, let's just attack these people first. Or we could be attacking the Scottish, but I still feel like my army is a little bit too small. Oh my god, my army might be too small. Let's just attack these people. Alas, oh no. I'm, I'm, ugh. Damn it, malaise. Ugh. I'm glad to reduce your malaise. Offer something. Uh, okay, let's try this. Okay, we've crossed another army. I guess we have no choice. We have to attack before we lose. Alas. Wait, isn't this, is this an army of gammon? A lot of uprising. I don't need to fight them, do I? My life is in your hands. <gasps> Thank God, Offer handed you a plate with grey powdery substance on it. Apparently it consisted of ground up scabs from a person in a worse state than you. Offer shared no indication of joking as he told you to lean into the hill as much as you could. <laughs> no, so, ugh, that sounds a bit disgusting, but that's how modern it is, doesn't it? Oh no, oh no, why did I do that? Oh, damn it. Let's just hope 
we still have enough money to recover. We've lost our commanders, though, haven't we? Um, I guess I'm gonna have to command. Uh, no, he's still no. I have nine. Yeah, I must have increased recently. He just attacked us and take it. I didn't want to take the capital. I just want to finish our own uprising. We may crush the Scottish, but mm, I mean the Pictish. I keep getting confused. Oh, we've captured someone in battle. That's good. We'll deal with them in a moment. I think after this battle, oh god, another battle won. Um, let's move upwards, and we'll soon have crushed the rebellion. A rebellion will be crushed soon. We will soon win. The rebellion was not by fools. Oh, but we have lost a lot of money, and we had to borrow from the Jews. Oh, damn. Okay, we have done it. We will decide your fate after we finished our own second war with the Pictish to the north. Oh, actually, we, we don't want them attacking any other holdings, especially the weak ones after the Civil War. Um, okay, let's move this upwards. Uh, and now let's try to take their capital. Should be fine. Yep, we've taken their capital. And we've got more gold from it. Every time you take capital, of course, you gain a little bit of money from it. Okay, let's just make sure these people... I think we might have just made it in time without... Unfortunately, we did take quite a big loan, and you have to pay... For Interest. Oh, we, we now have a claim. The chiefdom of Alcut. We can use that sooner. Or we'll take it after. After we recover a bit. I mean, we're still in a little bit of a problem. Offer peace. Oh, that's good. Now we just disband everything. Yep. Now, special characters. Oh, we can go into hiding your resources. Oh, I need to. um. Actually, let's just see. Has the religion changed there? Nope. We need to send them to. Improve religious research for improve religious relations. No, we need to proselytize again. God, I can't believe I forgot that. Um, the rise of the Shia. The chism of the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest day. The majority of Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali. The Shia Shias forcing them into hiding. The partisans of Ali took to look to his descendants for leadership, but they are forced to keep their ancestry secret. Now, for the Shias are mobilizing their strength beyond the boys whom they claim to. Be Ali's rightful heir and imam. Other Islamic jurists claim that the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers he is the person they have been waiting for, and now they flock to his banner. Ah, the fools fight amongst themselves. Well, it doesn't really matter, it's all the way south of the map. I'm, I'm just dealing with the north right now. Anyway, how many men can I rise now? We can rise about 404. Uh, what do I my I want just to have him be a steward? A steward is a good and noble profession. Let's have him be a warrior. Um, oh, I was looking at something. I can't remember. Oops, let's check. Oh yeah, I was just looking at how many men we had uh, compared to these guys. We we have about six hundred. How many men do they have? Um, they've got about seven hundred ninety-four. We have to wait till we have recovered at least a little bit. We still have. If my opinion ruled, the world would be more and uh, be a more chaotic but fun place. If I keep following the laws, the world would have been less. Fun. Let's just see what arbitrary basis. No, no, oh, I'd rather be just. Yeah, justice better. Justice. Oh God, I can't believe we have cancer. We're gonna die soon. And how good is our son compared to us? Mm, he's okay with military, but oh my God, zero zero. He won't be too good of a king. A peculiar tradition I will support it. According to Chancellor Osborne, the peasants of Northumbria have started to lay full tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Osborne believes. That the country will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. A peculiar tradition. I will support it, of course. Especially if it's cheap. Anyway. Th thank you all for watching. This is the end of my first Let's Play, I guess. Thanks again.